Hello Aquarius, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead, my friends. How are you? Thank you so much for collecting here. I appreciate your clicks, your views. Thank you so much. If you are somebody who has not yet subscribed, and uh, my analytics are telling me a lot of you come by and give me your lovely clicks and views, but you haven't subscribed. So I hope you'll subscribe to the tribe and help me build this uh, Aquarius energy here on Ten of Cups Tarot. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much for all of those of you who are watching, who are clicking, who are being in the comments. Thank you for your shares, your subscribes, and all the ways that you've been loving on me um, on this channel for 2023. So this is going to be the last reading for you, for your energy. Um, there'll be other readings coming up that are all signs and collective readings, but for your energy, this is the last reading that's coming up for the end of the year because the week, of the, the week ahead is the last week of 2023. So let's look at some... Um, some uh, oracles for you. Then we're going to throw some tarot at it, see what we come up with. Tell me about the week ahead, please, for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please tell me about Aquarius. We've got time to go. Go where? You tell me. Where are you going? <laughs> it feels like there is something here that needs to be reconciled, I want to say. We'll look at that in a second. Bottom of the deck, we have Treasure Island. I feel like in the future, you're, the place you're going to is a place that is... Um, abundant. I feel like it's not only abundance of money because we've got we've got this um, this turtle carrying the treasure chest, and you can see there's something shiny in there. But there's also hearts flying all around. What's very interesting here is that we do have four and five, which is nine, and then we have a nine here as well. So we are looking at hermited energy. I want to say that if you're the person who's been in hermit mode for a while, that I think that you are going to be coming out of hermit mode because it's time to go. It's time for you to go get your treasure or go find Treasure Island. The things that make you happy, the things you want to do, um, whether that's money or people or love. We have card number 45 and it's a nine. When I look at this card, time to go. Um, I can see that somebody here, it's almost as if the dress is disappearing as this person's running along toward the door that's in the background here. So it's like, it's time for you, Aquarius, to leave an old vibration. It's time for you to skip over to the next timeline. It's time for you to go. There's nothing left in the past for you. There's nothing left. There's nothing that you should bring to the future. This is energy that's saying it's time to go. Get through that door. Shut the door. It's time for you to start doing different things in uh, 2024. Your season, uh, Aquarius, is coming up like I think the 19th, right, of January. So we're not very far from there, from your season here. Um, it's time for you, I feel, to head for the door. There is something, whether it's a relationship, a friendship, a job, whatever it is, it's time for you to go. There's nothing more that you can do here. You've learned everything that you need to learn here. Card 45 is a nine, which is the hermit energy. So whatever it was, you no longer, I feel like you've, you've learned that lesson. You've become wise to it, and it's time to go. We've got service. We've got service that says, I feel good when I can help others. I'm going to take courage as well. I feel like I should. It says, uh, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Yes. So I want to say that for some of you, time to go might be might mean that you are leaving a situation and going to a place where you can offer more service. And that might be you want to start volunteering. Maybe you want to open your own nonprofit. But I feel like you love to be in service of others, Aquarius. And I feel like you need the courage to do that. Now, it says the courage, the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And I feel like going through this door here, as we're looking at this card that says time to go. Uh, so we're looking at some Somebody who's racing for the door. I think that you need to find the courage to do the thing that you want to do, whether that is starting a nonprofit, being in the service of others. It's something that you should do that you want to do. No longer servicing others, but servicing the self in saying, I'm going to do this. I'm going to service somebody. I'm going to, I'm going to help out at this volunteer place. But it's something that you really want to do in your soul. So I feel like you are supposed to head for the door time for you to get out of that old vibration my friend all right let's talk about this last deck here <coughs> excuse me aquarius 
All right. It says unknown territory. Yes, definitely. <laughs> unknown territory is you head for the door, leaving the old vibration, not looking back, doing the things that you want to do, being in service of you, being in service of others, and having the courage to do it. It says unknown territory. You're exactly where you need to be, Aquarius. Isn't that a beautiful message? Like we're this far into the year, right? One year, one, one week left in the week ahead that is the end of the year. Please know that whatever you've gone through this year was supposed to be that way. You have gone through all the things you're supposed to go through. You are now in the new year going to be stepping into unknown territory or in the week ahead possibly, but you are exactly where you need to be. You're right on track, my friend. So stop thinking that you're behind. Stop thinking that you're not accomplishing all the things that you want to accomplish. And I know, like I'm, I'm at level 55 of this game. I'm 55 years old. We see there's more time behind us than in front of us and we panic just a little. We can end up panicking, but I want to say you're right where you're supposed to be we've got watching clouds lie back rest and relax <laughs> yes it's saying look go into the new year knowing that you did the best that you could with what you had okay so stop beating yourself up for not making a decision or making a decision that you feel other people weren't happy with take it as it resonates all right let's look at some tarot Tarot for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me what Aquarius needs to know with the tarot, please. Aquarius, if you're interested in a private read, there's still room over at Wizio. Look below this video, you'll see the more link. If you click that, it'll open up a panel and you'll see the link to Wizio. It's the only place that you can book me. All right, here we go. Let's talk about it. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the week ahead. The final week of 2023. got the seven of pentacles so the, the you're waiting on something here i feel like there's also been some growth i think that you've been really busy um really busy nurturing something it could be the self it could be money let's take a look here We've got the king of cups you're waiting for love for sure you're waiting possibly um you're possibly waiting on someone who's a scorpio a pisces or a cancer waiting waiting for the ship to come in there's a ship in the in the background here well it's more like a, a sailboat but it's got a really tall sail here maybe you're not waiting maybe it's not that you're waiting for love I think that you're waiting for someone who's emotionally available someone who's emotionally intelligent someone who is not going to be overly emotional someone who doesn't throw tantrums you know what I mean like I feel like you're waiting for someone who is grown Someone who has grown up in their emotions. Hmm. Caught the star. There you are, Aquarius. We can say that that's what you are waiting for, right? Feels like you are, you're hopeful. You're trying to bring in a manifestation. We've got the two of cups in reverse. And so I want to say that it feels like you feel that there is somebody here who you have it's like I do see the two of cups as a few things first of all unrequited love it feels like it feels like maybe you have feelings for someone who doesn't have feelings for you or you're questioning what the connection is here you're waiting for someone to show up who's emotionally available whether it's a person or whether it's somebody who you just want to show up emotionally available no matter what their sign is but we have the two of cups in the reverse and it feels like i want to say that that maybe you walked away from a situation or maybe somebody else did because you thought that there wasn't enough emotion there wasn't enough emotional connection in order to be able to make this thing work now the two of cups is in the reverse while the eight of cups is here and while both of them are the ten of cups it feels like that possibly that it could be someone that you used to live with maybe someone you were married to maybe there was a, a commitment here right the ten of cups is of course the the emotional happiness but it feels like the two of cups now is in the reverse so it could be somebody who who you were with and it didn't work with but i feel like what you're looking for here it's telling me is someone who is emotionally available someone who won't walk away someone who won't decide to emotionally disconnect uh from you the eight of cups is walking right into the star 
I feel like if you're the one that walked away from something here, or if that's what you're going to do is you're pulling out of this old vibration, I really feel like you're going to heal quickly. Because the star is here and, and the it's, it's the indication that the universe never leaves us out to dry, right? Because 16 is the tower, 17 is the star, which tells me there has been some sort of a tower here where somebody disconnected emotionally or walked away or is about to do that in the week ahead. Take it as it resonates. These readings are intended for the week ahead, not intended to re be resonant right now. Just saying. And then we have the Page of Wands, but there's a new beginning here. So I want to say there is a new beginning here. For those of you who have had something go topsy-turvy here, go upside down, and that uh, it is it is love, I believe, a love relationship. I feel like something ended. I want to say that things only end because other things are about to begin, right? And we have the page of wands here that indicates that there's still time for a new beginning. There's still time for you to have fun, to... Um, to do spontaneous things and have fun with your life. And I, it feels like for some of you, you might be letting this Eight of Cups impact your life. I want to say that you you may have been settling for someone. And, and I really feel like rejection is protection. So if you're the person who's been rejected with this Two of Cups, I want to say that it's for your protection and something new is about to begin. We have the Page of Wands. The messenger is bringing good news, <laughs> right? It's the good news messenger. The messenger is bringing fun good news I, I feel like if you're feeling bad about something that didn't work out that I feel like you're you're going to heal from this when you get this this uh, communication whether it's from a friend or a new love or whatever it is tell me uh, this what the star is please tell me why we have the star here I think you're wishful I think you're hopeful I think you're manifesting someone who is emotionally available because the last time, the last relationship didn't work out. Seven of Cups tells me there's confusion and overwhelm. It feels like you really don't know why um, this person walked away, I want to say. You're unsure about why somebody walked away here. And that might be a little bit of self-awareness. I'm just saying, if you're unsure about why they walked away... Um, it might be a little bit of self-awareness that you need here. We have the Knight of Swords. And we have uh, the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I do, I do believe that something else is coming here. And I think while you're feeling overwhelmed in the situation that you're in right now, I feel like it's going to get better. I want to say we've got the King of Swords who shows up, who is Aquarius. We've got Aquarius twice in the reading now. So I want to say that whatever is coming i feel like this is a time for healing for you in the week ahead for those of you who have something that's broken up a friendship um a love ship uh something that didn't go right the two of cups is in the reverse take it as it resonates we have the knight of swords and the knight of swords is the one who's racing in to make changes sees all the possibilities the person who is is um who's arriving without notice. <laughs> so I want to say that while you're feeling maybe sad or a little bit overwhelmed, or maybe that this was a total illusion, and maybe it was, maybe you were the one that held up the relationship, and maybe it, it did end up being some sort of an illusion. But I feel like the seven, this particular Seven of Cups is telling me that somebody is about to pick you, I want to say. Somebody's about to pick their way. It could be you picking your way or someone else. But we do have the Knight of Swords here who is the one who is rushing in. They want to get there first. And this person here might be someone who is a friend. We have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is that. It's a friendship. It's someone looks up to you or you look up to them. So I want to say that that someone who is a friend, I feel, is going to be reaching out to you or rushing in. I feel like it's at a time that this time right now for you, maybe even in the week ahead, is supposed to be a time of healing for you. Like at the bottom of this deck, right, we saw it says lie back, rest and relax. I want to say that you're supposed to be spending time healing the self healing this overwhelm, but I feel like you're going to be pulled out of that energy by somebody who's arriving here. And it could be someone else who is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it does feel like someone who's about to take a hold of the situation or make a decision that's best for everyone involved here. It feels like there is going to be 
some honesty and clarity from a friend, possibly someone that uh, you haven't seen in a while. Pentacles are years, but um, the swords can be days. The months can be the cups. So it could be like between seven months and three years, possibly. Someone you haven't seen in a while is probably going to reach out to you here because we do have the Page of Wands. Let's talk about the Page of Wands. Tell me about this, the Page of Wands. <clears throat> We have the, the uh, Two of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Wands. And we have the Eight of Wands. Look, things are about to pick up and move quickly here. It feels like you are going to get some sort of communication here. It feels like it's from somebody really fun. And although the King of Swords is somebody who's kind of very... I don't know, you know, they're they're kind of up in their head. They're always analyzing things. They're not necessarily wands energy. They are swords energy. And so there's someone who's really thinking over the situation carefully before they get on their bike to, to come in to see you. But I feel like um, the Queen of Wands, what's changing here is that you're about to have some fun. Things are about to get uh, more fun for you. I feel like when this person shows up, you're in two minds. I feel like the Two of Pentacles is telling me that you're very busy at the time. They might show up at your workplace. Place. They might show up at a time when you're really busy at home. Maybe you're renoing the house. Who knows? But they're showing up at a time that's that's really not perfect for you. But I feel like the Two of Pentacles is telling me that you're kind of uh, juggling things at the time, but you're also going back and forth on whether or not you want to talk to this person. Because I feel like they're coming in invasively. It feels like they're like in your face before you know it here. We've got the devil on the bottom of the deck. It could be a Capricorn. doesn't have to be. But it also could be someone that um, who has kind of been obsessed about thinking about you, having uh, being able to take you out or they want to have fun with you. Let's take a look here. We have the Five of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Look, we've got swords up here, and I feel like it's somebody that you're on the outs with. I feel like there's an argument here, or uh, it's like it's something we didn't agree on, or we had an argument and someone walked away. Could have been you, could have been them. But this person's coming back um, for clarity. They want to have a conversation. I feel like this person, it could be you, right? We have Aquarius here, Gemini and Libra. could be you that we're talking about, who's the one who is not able to bend... Uh, um, uh, as it, as it, as how can I say that you're not able to be flexible in the mind. So when this person shows up, I don't know if you're necessarily going to be happy that they show up, but I feel like this person's coming in with good intentions. They're coming in with good intentions. They want to be happy and fun, but I feel like that there was some sort of a a conversation maybe with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, that didn't go well, or maybe it was a fiery conversation. I feel like somebody's coming in to, to ask about that or talk about it. Somebody here wants to give you their view of it or give you clarity on it. It feels like things here are going to work out okay, but it feels like there has to be some sort of a conversation first before we carry forward. Tell me why the Two of Cups is in the reverse, please. It feels like this thing was growing. It took some time to grow, and then all of a sudden it wasn't growing anymore. We have the Page of Cups. Somebody might be coming in with an apology, and it f does feel like with the Knight of Swords here that somebody is just going to show up. And, of course, use your logic. If they're 2,000 miles away, they're not going to be showing up. But they could be showing up in text. They could be showing up in email. We do have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. And then we have the emperor. So I feel like somebody here is taking a step forward to come ne near you to, to give you an apology about something that didn't work out between you and them. And remember, it's time to go. So for some of you, you are going to be leaving this vibration from the emperor who left you who left you with, you know, with with sadness, essentially, with the two of cups in the reverse and the eight of uh, cups walking away. It feels like there is an emperor for some of you who is coming background someone that you built a little bit of stuff with and this person i feel is coming back emotionally available this time the emperor is in the upright and when the emperor is in the upright they're in charge they're the stability they're the authority like you can tell i can tell there's going to be an issue here <laughs> we've got the king of swords and we've got the emperor feminine or masculine take your pick but it feels like there could be a clash of minds here and that's why the ace of swords is here we need clarity and the last time we got together we had a clash of minds right five of swords and one the ace of swords is six we moved on we moved 
moved away from each other, and that's what the Eight of Cups is. So I feel like something here came to an end, but the only reason that things ever come to an end, Aquarius, is so other things can begin. This person could be coming and healed. Maybe they're not. You'll know your situation better than I will. And uh, we have the, the world. Wow, look at that. We have the world on the bottom of the deck, the world, the Eight of Swords, and the Tower. So this is going to be the moment of truth. That's what it feels like. It's like it's going to be the moment of truth. The Eight of Swords tells me that you're kind of stuck in your head and the tower's coming to get you out of that energy. But it is the moment of truth with the tower in the world. It's like something has ended. It's coming in with a tower. It's a great big ending that you have with somebody here. It might be that this person keeps coming around to you and finally you're going to say, I'm out. I'm done. I need to go into the new world. I need to get through this door, right? We are looking at the time to go card and we see this door in the distance. I feel like you're walking through the portal. I think it's time to go, to be honest. I think some of you are kind of done with this overbearing attitude. Someone who I feel that you've lost passion for. It feels like it's someone who has said something or done something and now you have a different view of them and I don't think you want them in your energy anymore so the tower is bringing in the world the tower is probably bringing in the end it's going to be up in your head about it i'm saying there is going to be a communication i have a feeling that some two people are going to be moving away from each other again because i feel like with the king of swords energy feminine or masculine that's a really strong energy up in the head i need the facts don't tell me what to do i make my own decisions for me and the emperor is the same way right the emperor is the king of swords so i feel like we're talking about two separate energies here and it's all up to you I feel like for some of you, you're going to move through this doorway and leave the emperor in the past. And others of you, I feel like you're going to, you know, give entertain the emperor and give him a chance to, to say whatever it is they need to say. But things are coming in quick. It feels like it could be the week ahead. But it could be for some of you. I've got Aquarius here a couple of times. It could be Aquarius season. It could be partway through January for some of you. All right. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Happy uh, holidays to you and happy new year. Thank you so much for being with me here this year. Thanks, Aquarius. Bye-bye.